Alright, so I just stumbled across this old story I made, probably <laughs> seven, eight years ago. I haven't read it since. Um, may, maybe a couple years ago I might have went through and re-edited some. But it's, it's been a while. It's an old classic called The Adventures of Horse, Weasel, and Seagull. And it is just very off the wall and psychotic. And I really want to make it into a uh, one-issue comic at some point. So if one of you guys hears this and wants to help me out with that, please let me know. Right, let me load it on up here. It's only about four pages long. It won't take us a very long time at all. I'm excited about this one. I'm glad I found it. All right. <clears throat> The sun was just rising as the sound of creaking wheels echoed through the summer's morning dew. Catapult approaching, sire! A knight shouted from the top of a large castle. Four more knights flanked him and watched as they could barely make out the sight of a single person that was pushing a rather large device. Oh god, is that? One knight began but couldn't finish from the shock of the sight. By the catapult stood Mother Teresa, holding a massive bag of what seemed a hundred screaming cats inside. What do we do? A knight asked as another shrugged. Well, we can't kill Mother Teresa. Go, find a negotiator. They replied, just as Mother Teresa began launching what turned out to be lesbian cats at the castle of King Vitamin. The lesbian cats screamed up until hitting the stone walls, while well, they either bounced off and landed to their death, or simply splattered horribly in a splash zone effect of blood and fur. <laughs> Yo Newman presents The Adventures of Horse, Weasel, and Seagull. Meanwhile, a horse known as Horse slept to the song Victim of Love by the Eagles. Next to Horse on a pile of hay slept a possum who is known as Weasel, and by a weasel rested a small seagull known as Seagull. A farmer soon walked into his barn wearing suspenders, a straw hat, and bare feet. He looked at the squatters in his barn and heard the strange music coming from a CD player that sat next to Horse's tail. Hey, you animals! Get out of here! The farmer shouted loudly, waking the three up. Horse woke with a jolt and kicked a weasel across the room and made Seagull squawk loudly in fright. Horse slowly rose and looked at the angry farmer with confusion. Hey, we're not causing any harm, Weasel growled, crawling from under a hay bale in which he was kicked under. I said get out of here, you freeloaders, the farmer shouted again. All right, fine, just let us get our stuff. Horse sighed, picking up the CD player with his teeth, as Seagull put on his sunglasses, and Weasel put on four shoes before climbing onto Horse's back. Seagull then landed on Horse's head, and the three rode off from the farmer. And get a job, the farmer shouted at their backs. Meanwhile, hey... Could you please stop that? The royal negotiator shouted from the top railing of the castle as a lesbian cat flew over his head and into the castle courtyard. Waiting in the courtyard were three knights. Quick! Kill it! Kill it! They each screamed and stabbed the already broken kitten to death. Hey, please stop! The man repeated as Mother Teresa simply loaded another cat onto her catapult located on the top of a hill that faced the castle. She's not listening, a knight stated to the negotiator who gave a few moments for thought. Just, we must first figure out why. Why is she here? The negotiator whispered rhetorically. Meanwhile, Horse Weasel and Seagull trotted over hills, across bridges, and creeks too small for bridges. They went up hills and down the other side of those hills. The three soon went across the rope bridge and through a forest, and on the other side of that was a cave. The three went through the cave and found another bridge made of stone. Before this bridge was a man sitting in a chair tuning a banjo. The three were about to cross when the man stood and smiled a toothless smile. Before y'all be crossing this bridge, y'all must defeat me in a fiddle match, he said with a laugh. But that's a banjo, Weasel observed, and the man let out a raspy laugh. Ha <laughs> ha, either y'all beat me, or I string you over there under yonder tree. He smiled with a smile. The three turned and saw about a dozen bodies hanging from a large willow tree. Seagull slowly removed his sunglasses to reveal his crimson, fiery eyes. The hillbilly looked in awe as Seagull simply stared into his eyes. Slowly, the hillbilly began bleeding from every pore in his body. Tears of blood rolled down his cheeks. Suddenly, his eyes exploded 
while his skull cracked in half and his body crumpled to the ground. And the three continued on. I say, who is launching lesbian female females into my castle? <laughs> King Vitamin asked, walking into the courtyard, stepping over two cats, just going at it. What the fuck? <laughs> Sir, on yonder hill it be Mother Teresa, yar! A pirate informed the king from a crow's nest that stood in the castle. What are your demands? The king heard the negotiator ask. Mother Teresa stopped holding a cat inches from the catapult. Yes, please, tell us, what are your demands? We will try to meet them, the negotiator insisted, as Mother Teresa stared at him. I demand world peace, she shouted, as the knights all looked at each other in great confusion. We, we can't really grant that, the negotiator slowly replied. Within seconds, a knight was hit in the face by another cat. The knight screamed as he ripped the feline from his face and threw it over the castle wall, nearly falling off the railing himself. Then prepare to die, Mother Teresa declared. Well, I mean, how many more cats could she have? A knight asked with, opt with optimism as the other one simply shrugged. Horse, Weasel, and Seagull soon came across the village as the Shin's phantom limb played from the CD player. Very nice. The three could see the village, pe village people were frantic and running around like mad, so Horse stopped one to ask a question. Good sir, what is happening? Weasel asked the man who looked at the possum. Haven't ye beasts heard? Mother Teresa is catapulting lesbian cats upon the castle of King Vitamin, the man informed. Well, it sounds like we should really check this out, Horse stated, and Seagull nodded in agreement. The three then began trotting through the frantic village. Okay, we're gonna have to do something. This is ridiculous. King Vitamin declared, stepping over a barely alive cat. Die, lesbian fool, he shouted, and curb stop the next cat. <laughs> what are we to do? Surely if we kill Mother Teresa, the gods will strike us dead, a knight declared. True. What we need is a hero, King Vitamin said, scratching his white beard, as a cat flew overhead and was impaled on the flagpole as the knight below the pole fainted. Oh no, it seems Mother Teresa has burnt the bridge that would cross this canyon to the castle, Weasel declared, looking at the large canyon before them. You could try to jump it. Seagull hissed with dark sarcasm to horse as though he were a dark conscience, tempting Horse to jump to his death. Well, no, we gotta find another way to cross. Weasel sighed when the three heard a loud choir rise from the canyon. Behold my glory, the voice declared in a smooth song-like tone. Rising through the air was the world's largest flying killer whale. <laughs> the whale floated in the air while gracefully moving its tail like that of a celestial dragon. Almighty Whale, we need to get to the castle of King Vitamin and stop Mother Teresa from continuing her onslaught. Weasel replied, and the Whale nodded. Then I shall take you there. Here, climb aboard my mighty back. The Whale sang, lowering its tail, and allowing the three to mount the Whale and ascend towards the clouds. The Whale breached the lowest cloud formation and let out a mighty roar of triumph before ascending once more towards the earth. There, I can see the castle on the horizon. Weasel shouted as Whale nodded and began flying towards the castle. Oh dear Jesus, first this, and now, and now. The knight could barely finish, so the king turned to see what had taken his speech away. Oh fucketh me. <laughs> king Vitamin sighed, seeing the flying whale headed towards their castle, with a horse, a seagull, and a possum named Weasel riding on the back. But wait, sir. Those are not holy icons, so we can kill them. Crossbows at the ready, the general shouted, and a dozen crossbowmen aimed at the celestial whale. As arrows flew by, the whale groaned. All right, this is where I draw the line, the whale said, plummeting towards the earth at an insane speed. Once in a safe distance, the whale turned upside down and let the animals fall to the ground. Thanks for the ride, horse shouted as the animals hit the dirt. They watched as the whale flew into the air, only to get hit by a flaming mortar from the castle's own catapult. The whale then exploded into pieces, and its guts rained over the countryside. There were loud cheers from the castle as the three animals spotted Mother Teresa and her catapult. As the three animals made their way towards the catapult, with the whale's guts still raining from the sky, they could see there was still a large bag of crying cats who were all, obviously, homosexual. So what be going on here? Weasel asked, standing next to Horse with Seagull perched on Horse's head. 
I am destroying this castle for world peace, Mother Teresa replied, picking up the next cat. Hmm, destruction for peace, Seagull asked happily. Yes, now could you hand me that feline? Mother Teresa replied, pointing to a cat that was slowly walking away. Weasel nodded and tossed the cat to the Catholic nun, who grabbed the cat and strapped it to the catapult. But surely, isn't there a peaceful way to fight for world peace? Weasel asked, watching the cat fly through the air. These evildoers won't listen. To reason, thus, is why I must launch lesbian cats upon their homes, Mother Teresa replied. Well, then I guess you have to die, <laughs> Seagull sighed, removing his sunglasses. No, wait, there must be another way, Weasel insisted. Yes, there's always another way, Horse agreed, as Mother Teresa looked at them. It was then Mother Teresa was blown in half by the sawed-off shotgun held by Weasel. Yes, there is always another way. Weasel replied. And that's it! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs>